And everything you have to do, when this is on your shoulder, slip it in like this. And one more thing. Seen this before? It's a camera attachment or camera hang up. So when you have this on your shoulder, this goes all the way up here. I'm sitting a little tight to the camera, so I don't want to put it on. But this is very handy when you're carrying maybe, maybe a little bigger camera. And I always carry a photo or a video camera on my trips. I don't think the phone is good enough, but it's a great backup. I can show you how this works. It's a camera clamp from Peak Design. Uh, it's attached with two screws. And you can use an Allen wrench or thumb screws if you want. I use the Allen wrench here because I feel it's like more secure than uh, the thumb screws. And it's attached like this. Okay, maybe we have to screw a little more. Yep. I put the Allen wrench there. Can you see this? This hole here has an opening on the bottom. So you can just slip it on the screw like uh, this and off. So it's very easy to attach or detach. And this uh, uh, what do you call it? I you know I'm speaking Norwegian normally, that's my mother language. And when I'm sitting in front of the camera and uh, is going to and I'm going to speak English, I can't find the words. But anyway, you put the camera plate down here. I will show you. I'm going to easily attach this again. Like this. Can use your thumbs to screw these screws as well, but you have to tighten it with an Allen wrench. So make it in the position that you want. My experience is that the camera often rotates on the shoulder when I'm walking. So probably it can be a good idea to angle this a little bit the way the camera will go or else the camera plate will also rotate and get a little, little loose. So here we have another camera. The bag from Peak Design where the attachment is delivered in. Oh, here are the thumb screws, by the way. And this is the camera plate, a normal tripod plate from Peak Design. This is also attached with the Allen wrench. Like this. Make sure it's in the correct place. Not too tight because then you're going to break your camera. And everything you have to do, when this is on your shoulder, slip it in like this. And the camera hangs there. It should be quite safe to have it only like this if you have uh, screwed the plate uh, tight on your backpack. But I normally use the Peak Design strap around my neck anyway, because then I can take the camera out of this plate and just hang it around my neck if I want to take my backpack off. Great stuff. 
haven't tried it too much when it's raining outside because then it can be a little difficult to have a rain cover and stuff but I will try that as well so this is um, pretty much what I'm doing when I'm out there are a lot of youtubers out there who has uh, much more experience with this stuff than, uh, than I do but I am uh, trying out, out the new stuff um, uh, every trip and uh, trying to find the best way to carry both everything that my family and I need for my trip and my camera gear and uh, equipment so I can recommend this bag it's a Norwegian bag Nurana. It's a sturdy bag made for, I think it's made for the army. And therefore, if you don't have any camera equipment or other stuff you are very afraid of inside the bag, you can throw it, you can drag it, you can do a lot of stuff with it without breaking. It's a, it's a very, very well-made backpack.